Okay, I'm a giant idiot. And I'm recording this for the fifth time, meanwhile. So gonna make it quick so I can finally start with this fucking video I really want to watch. Welcome to this video. You know, I'm a PvP YouTuber on this channel. And I would like to get back into PvP. This is not what we're gonna do today. But I would appreciate if you help me to get back into Pokemon Break Bros. How can you help me? It's pretty easy. Either by writing a comment or joining the Discord link in the description. And what you're gonna do, what you, what I would like to do is to tell me what I should do. What should I do in PvP next? What legendary should I catch? What places should I, uh, should I, um, what places should I show? And especially how do I get there? What new things are in there that I should check out and maybe make a video about it? All those things that I've missed when being um, absent for, yeah, I guess about three months now. Yeah, about three months <laughs> is when it happened. So it would be pretty nice if you could tell me. I'm still waiting for the Christmas event, but I guess it will never happen. So it would be nice if you tell me what is there for me to check out so I can do new videos about PvP. But as I said, today we're going to do something else. We're going to watch the video about Pokemon Mel Metal Melachid, the trailer slash direct from the 1st of May. I'm watching it on the 3rd. And yeah, I'm pretty hyped. So let's fucking go. I hope we can finally get this right. <sighs> So let's go. Okay. I'm gonna pause it once more. So there's so much more to see of Tenorio. So we get some more maps. We get the prelude pre, uh, prelude planes. Okay. Subject to change, not final gameplay. I take it. I mean, I would prefer if it has more than 20 FPS. But I'm pretty sure my, my PC can do that. So I'm fine. Still a lot of Pokemon running around. I wonder if it will be like that in the final game. Also, the last directs were pretty impressive, so I hope this one is as well. I hope we see more than just areas, but they usually start with areas. Oh, portable po portable Poké Center? Or like a nurse? Maybe just a trainer, though. But it looks like a nurse. Yeah. Nurse Joy, yeah, po portable Pokemon Center. Or maybe the only Pokemon Center we'll have. Maybe that's the only way to, to heal up. Maybe it's not a center, actually, it's just the stone. I mean, it would be kind of cheap to not have Pokemon Centers at all, because they kind of... I, I mean, they, they usually, they are in this world. So, yeah, mobile spots are good. Weaken Pokemon before attempting to capture. Oh, newbie tips, nice. I mean, it's just a sign, so if you already know that, it doesn't hurt. New Pokemon, okay. Tenorian Hoppip. Nice. Looks like a radish, as it already says. Ground Grass. Coolio. Coolio. Tenorian Skiploom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like a turnip. Ah yeah, we we have some we have some uh we have some small visual bugs here. As you can see when it's shaking. And you can see that this is not fitting, but yeah, that's that's a minor visual glitch, doesn't really matter. But it looks pretty well so far. It's simple, but it looks great. And Radabash. This seems to be entirely new because it's not a Tenorian form. I always wonder what the evolutions may be, but I'm glad that they're not spoiling it. Also, I really wonder, that's that's what you could tell me in the comments if you want. Are you happy or unhappy that they are not using, like, original sprites? I actually don't know if the original Pokemon sprites are from, like, Sword and Shield, maybe? Um, I actually think they are. But, I mean, are you happy or sad that they are not losing, like, the older sprites, same as in PvB, or maybe even older ones, like the typical 3DS sprites? Because I've seen many people who are not happy with such sprites. For example, if you know Pokemon, it's a Pokemon MMO uh, for the PC. They use also 3D sprites, like, uh, not 3DS sprites, but, like, 3D uh, models. And I've seen people who are really not happy with that and would prefer it being the same way as Poke MMO, where they take even the 2D sprites. But I'm personally, I'm pretty happy with those models. I really like them. 
So, what do we have here? The Makoto Beach reminds me a bit of World Zero. Like, reminds me of the first world in, in World Zero. Like, the beach part. But it's a beach. What do we expect, right? It's a beach of all. What's that sign? It says something, but I can't read it. God, the low FPS are triggering me a little bit, but hey. If they would want me to record it, I would do it. <laughs> but I guess. Ooh, that looks great. I mean, I don't think that we will have sailing in this game, but it's a pretty neat back uh, background. Okay, pretty cool. Typhish Pokemon. Lolfib. Okay. This is pretty dope. Scavenger fish and carpent toy. <laughs> okay, it's not a toy, but it's called carpent toy. Okay. Imagination Pokemon, though. Fantasy. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool, dull fantasy. Nice. Mm hmm. Sandwich Valley. This is already looking so great. I can't imagine to just stay there for a while looking around at all the details. Sadly, the culture of today wants you to rush through everything and not really appreciate it. At least in videos. Maybe I, I might stream it and then just do highlights. If I'm not showing something. Uh, if I'm not showing something special. But we will see when it's out, alright? Ooh, Magikarp. Mag Magikarp sta uh, statue. What is that? Is that a gym? Is that a Poké Center? How much time do we have left? Oh, two minutes. There needs to be something special. Okay, shovel type Pokemon Caliphilar. Yeah, not bad. Actually, I don't know if it's if it's because of the uh, if it's because of the um the po is it the point of view? I'm not entirely sure, but I think that the artwork is actually looking better than the original model. It looks better as an artwork right now. But it could be that it just changes mid-fight, and then it looks the same. Oh! Kelly Tom, or Kelly Tomb, that looks pretty dope. It's a bug. Doesn't look like a bug. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe that's from the face, yeah, but... I would rather say it's a ghost or rock. Oh. Okay. I'm really interested in the bad. You will just you will tell me what it is, right? Wait, is this the same evolution line? I mean, uh, I mean, the first two could be, but that would be weird. But I guess they're not telling for a reason. Okay, flat. Wow, impressive city. Oh boy. Huh? Okay, there's a, there's a, um, hair cutting, a barber? Is a barber a barber shop? Yeah. Mm hmm That's also pretty great. It's a, it's a really small detail, but we have, uh, this don't make me turn green thing. I think it's like a, is it, is, is this, uh, is this a shiny form? Probably is, isn't it? Would it be green if it's shiny? Let me scroll through the wiki real quick. Yeah, it's actually green if it's shiny. That's nice. That's pretty dope. So it's a Hulk reference, but also giving doing the shiny one. That's dope. So actually, I wonder what it's for. Maybe it's just shiny for the joke, but maybe this is actually something. It has something to do with making things shiny. 
Okay, another barbershop. Oh. Oh, another evolution. Like an Eevee evolution. Gladion. Dope. It's like a, it's like an Umbrian with, with a helmet. Or like, at least with this, you know? It's not a full helmet as it looks, but this is awesome, dude. Epic scene coming? Come on, hype me up, dude. Okay. You have the investigator and someone in a cell. Okay, what is that? Legendaries? Could be, could be. Status skits, vitality grunts. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is like the vitality group. Team vitality. Or does it stand for something else? Fabulous research, Lauren. God, I'm getting chills already. Oh boy. Um, and what is that? That's like uh, Reggie, Reggie C, right? Yo! <laughs> Scientist Morphine or Morphine? Yo! <laughs> What is that like? Uh, this is this looks like um. What is that? What is the Pokemon with Z? I think it's also into PVB. Oh God. Hmm. How's it called? Pokemon Legend Legendaries with Z. Zigard. It looks like Zigard. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> um yeah 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 do do this definitely join the discord What the f <sighs> What the hell, dude? What the hell? Are you kidding me? You know what is the worst about it? In your imagination, all the things that can happen right now are way cooler than what it will be in the end, but I'm still fucking hyped. Dude. Like, you know what is so sad about this? This video gonna be, uh, the video, th this game gonna be down 24-7. They will have more issues uh, keeping the game up than PvB if they don't change away from the Roblox platform. Which they can't, obviously. But, yeah, if they, if they don't have up, like, at least 20 places simultaneously leading to the same database, then oof. Big oof. This is, poor. Oh. <laughs> at the start, as it's as it's as like always. At the start, I'm like, at the start, I'm like, oh yeah, we have, we have like the we have like the zones and stuff. Oh, you're showing me new Pokemon. Oh, le le le. This is just this is just just some normal stuff. But there, there it keeps going. There it goes crazy. They they give you the nicest Pokemon and then they do this, and you're just like. What is going to happen? This is already so insane. Like, it's... I'm a giant fan of PvP. I'm really a giant fan. Even if it's just, like, like I've played this game so often and I was so... Like, you've maybe watched me... If if you didn't, you can do that. Um, You've maybe watched me uh, playing the Halloween event. And I was so hyped just having these stories. Like, going from part to part and... and 
seeing just the new content and now you have an entirely new game. I know how hard that was because I haven't seen Hooper in a while. And then the first time in Adventure of Legends when we when we got into the um it's not Gullible Grove, it's um the outpost. I don't know how it's called, the outpost. And I was going for that, and I was like, dude, I haven't seen that that often. I remember PvP, but I don't remember that, and I was so hyped, and then I will have an entirely new game, which will have hours of playtime, and so many maps to explore, and all that, and, 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 and if they, like, imagine how long they took from basically the scratch to do this, and they will probably not be nearly as slow as Lumion Legacy, so this is actually something you can play, Assuming that they don't get taken down 24-7 and they can't develop because they're already uploading the thing all the time. Assuming that this doesn't happen. Um, then you will be able to play and then you will be able to do trades and PvP. And why you do that, they're actively developing new, new content and maybe also events. You don't know. I don't know how big the team is. I mean, that the fact that um, Brick Bronze Reforged shut down... Um, means that Himtopia, if he's still doing stuff, and apparently he's still doing stuff, will be able to do stuff for this game then. So they have a great de developer from um, uh, from Project Bronze Forever, they have an awesome developer from Brick Bronze Reforged, and they have the actual... Um... No, wait. <laughs> this was the same thing. Uh... Okay, let's say they, 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 they probably still have Bobby helping. I'm pretty sure that Bobby will help at some point, or is helping at some point. They have Hemtopia and they have, um, how, how was his name? Was it Bear? I, I'm not, I'm sorry, dude. I'm really sorry, but I can't, uh, just put up your name right now because Discord is on the screen as well. Um, yeah, they, they have a, at least three nice people who already, um, did stuff for this project, and I guess there's a lot more, like... Yeah. Orange Juice and Himtopia. I don't know who Orange Juice is, but they have a, they have a modeler, they have a, actually contributors for the modeling, they have um, music featuring a design from Zame. Just don't know. And they actually have someone editing the videos. Oh, and also Mr. Noob is doing modeling. Oh, interesting. I'm actually not such a fan of Mr. Noob uh, for uh, for other reasons, but anyway, this is I'm pretty sure that if they want to make this a success, honestly, if they make an XP share and it costs me 500 Robux, I will buy this shit. It's a one-time purchase, and it will be so great if I can if I can get it through this world. Honestly, this is this is insane. This is oh boy. Okay. Um. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would be nice if you leave a like. And I hope that we will be back in PPV soon. Uh, and yeah, of course, if you could help me, it would be awesome. This would be really awesome. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.